Hi, I'm Olivia Stone. I'm a director at Metropolitan Group, and today is International Women's Day, March 8th. Um, and in honor of that, I'm going to be talking a little bit about MG's advocacy and support for women and my own personal work supporting and advocating for women's issues. I have the amazing benefit of having been raised by strong, outspoken, smart women. Um, my mom is a feminist. She raised me to be a feminist and she taught me about feminism as, at a young age. And she also started pointing out um, discrepancies between genders and how women were treated differently. And I don't think I would have noticed those things on my own because they were so ingrained in our society that they just seemed normal. Being able to make decisions about one's own body, including how and when, when to get pregnant, has a ginormous impact on a woman's life and her ability to achieve the goals and the things that she um, wants for herself. And when I was offered the opportunity to join the board of NARAL, it was an easy yes. I was excited to use my skills and talents to help break down barriers to accessing the care and services and information that women absolutely need in order to make those choices for themselves about their bodies and um, in order to determine what those choices are. Um, so that's why I'm involved with NARAL. I have been on the board for three years and um, this year I became the president of the board of directors. I had the benefit of working uh, for Power to Decide, which used to be called the National Campaign to Prevent Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy, to help them update and refresh their brand and change their name um, to be something that resonated uh, with the people that they serve better um, and best meet, meet the needs of those that they serve. Their mission is to ensure that all young people, no matter who they are, where they live, or what their economic status might be, have the power to decide if, when, and under what circumstances um, to get pregnant and have a child. There are still a lot of policy changes that are needed first. Um, in order to level the playing field for women. I've been advocating hard for paid family and medical leave in Oregon. Uh, right now we have a House Bill 3031 um, that's currently being considered in our state legislature. It's called the Family Equity Act. Having people in positions of power, political power, who are making the laws of our land, who have lived experience of what it's like to be a woman, is so critically important and it means that they fully understand the implications of the decisions they are making on women. Um, I'm excited about our next election cycle. I'm nervous about it. I feel hopeful seeing so many of the women um, in the House right now at the federal level and at the state level. That's inspiring. Um, I think building the structure of a society that really supports and allows women all the opportunities that men have is crucial if we're gonna create a culture um, that values women as much as men. I don't think there's just one thing. I think it's going to take a lot of different um, efforts, different policy changes, different social norms changing, um, but I kind of came up with a random list that just off the top of my head are things I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to hearing the words Madam President finally spoken in the White House, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, I'm looking forward to having tampons and other menstrual products available for free in bathrooms, just like toilet paper is. I'm looking forward to the day when men start using some form of birth control. I think that's gonna be really important and um, big game changer. Um, and I'm looking forward to the day when we stop calling them women's issues and refer to them as just issues.